Assalamu alaikum. So the lesson today is about equations. We are going to give an introduction to uh, the equations and what and the type of equations that you should know. You should know now and uh, you should know for the future. So uh, first, let's start with the definition. So uh, definition. So what is an equation? An equation, in fact, is an assertion of equality between two quantities. So, uh, equation. Is an assertion. Of equality. between two expression or quantities as you wish so as you see the definition is totally clear equation is an assertion what does it mean assertion does it mean a declaration so of equality so I'm, I'm declared those two expression are equal so the problem here is, you see, when we make a declaration, does mean this may be true, may be false. So that's the idea. So it doesn't mean that if they are equal, does mean they are really equal. No. If I have two expression and they have equal sign between them, we call that statement an equation. So for example, I can say that two times four equals seven is an equation. Is it true or false? So we don't care about that. Why? Because I have an expression. We have another expression, and they have equal sign between them. So this is an equation. Or I can have, for example, uh, 9 times 3 equals 54 divided by 2. So again, this is an equation. True or false? So this is not the question. The question is, do we have an expression? another expression and we have equal sign between them so this the whole thing is called equations or I can have for example 4x plus 5 equal 9 is it is it an equations yes I have an expression another expression and I have equal sign between them so this whole thing is an equation so as you see here is an example of equations true or false this is not the question because the definition was totally clear. They didn't say is a true assert assertion of equality between two expressions. So it just state is a statement of equality because assertion is a statement. So it is a statement of equality between two expressions. That's all. This is exactly what is an equation. Now, because of this quality of uh, they didn't specify in definition if it's true or false so we will have three type of equations so that's mean there are three types of equations so type of equations so in fact there are Them all, all your life as long as you go in school or in your job so you can see those type of equations I this is the flat The data equation is an assertion that is always true regardless the value of its unknown. If there is any unknown, so but if there is no unknown, that means it will be always true. So identity equation is 
in the equation. That is always true. That's mean the statement is always a true statement. That is always true. Regardless of the value of the unknown, if there is any unknown. Regardless. If there is any. I put it in parentheses, so in case if there is none. So let me give an example of identity uh, equation. Example. Uh, a simple example, 5 is equal to 5. This is always true. You see, this is identity. Uh, 2 times 8 equal uh, 32 divided by 2. This is always true. Uh, 0 is equal 0. This is always true. x minus 3 is always equal to x minus 3. For like if I One thousand minus three equal one thousand minus three is the same thing. So equations with this type of identity conclude with this statement all number are solution or identity of solutions. So this not you keep it so. We always conclude the following statement. Infinite or ocean. Or you can say over our solution. So in one or solution. I prefer this one because uh, it's uh, useful when we learn inequality. So I prefer this statement uh, for all the time. So this is the first case. The second case, so we have uh, the second case is called contradiction equations. The second type, contradiction equations. So what is a contradiction equation? Contradiction equations, in fact, is and equations, which is always false, regardless of the value of the variable. So, contradiction. Equation. Is an equations. is always false regardless of the value of the variable
Here, if I can, it is any. Let me give you an example. Minus one equal one. Equal x plus seven. It's going to be always false. If I choose x equals zero, I will have to equal seven, which is false. Equal ten. Thirteen equals seventeen, which is false. Conclude. In that case, with no solution. So when you end up having what the type of equation it is, just conclude. Solution. So mean there is no solution for this type of next type is additional equations is an equation that is true only for a specific value of the unknown. So conditional conditional equation is an equation is true only for a specific value of the unknown or of the variable. So uh, example Uh, x plus 7 equal 16. So this can be true only if x equal 9. 2 times a a nine. Again, I can have uh, equal fourteen. So this x equal half. So those are examples of conditional equations. And this type of equations has always, uh, so this of old
it's maybe the only solution for that type of uh, this situation. Uh, and the three equations and uh, uh, if you have any common I listen you for what in the video.